Hi guys, um, I'm making a quick video um, because my husband found uh, an app that you could add to your phone, your Android or your iPhone and I thought that like there's a lot of people out there that probably still haven't discovered it yet and I think it's um, really important for for everyone to get the word out on this and um, it's this app called Find Offender and pretty much what it does is um, it locates you where your location is at um, from your phone and then um, it takes your location and it tells you everyone around your area that um, has been a sex offender in the past um, you know or has been in jail because of it <clears throat> and um, I think it's a really good app to have because um, when my husband downloaded it um, on my phone and we started using the app, it was crazy. Just all the people that were around our area. It gives you their address and and their picture and it tells you what they've done. And um, most of all the people that I discovered around my area were old men and they've all pretty much been um, in jail for, um, you know, being a sex offender uh, towards children and um, that just terrifies me I mean it's crazy you guys and I think that um, you know if people don't know about this just like I didn't know about it um, I just recently got an, uh, an Android I've never had a smartphone before so I never even knew that that app existed until recently that we discovered it so I think it's good to get the word out because um, you know, it's good to be alert. Um, it's good to know your surroundings and, you know, what exactly is that's going on. So, um, I think it's a good idea that you guys use it, you know, not only around your area, but about around your children's uh, school area and just pretty much know who really is out there in your surroundings. And I just thought that app was really cool. Um, it's really scary at the same time because, um, you know, as I was browsing through it, um, the craziest thing happened to me. Um, I'm browsing through the pictures and, you know, through the addresses and whatever of the, of the people. And this face pops up, which is, of course, very familiar to me. And I was just in total shock. It was um, my old landlord from, like, years ago. And, um... You know, I was in total shock. I mean, this man is really old. He's probably like in his 80s or or 90s now. But, you know, when his mug shot was taken was like pretty much around this time. You know, him already being old. So, um, I thought that was crazy, you guys. I mean, it's sometimes the people that you least expect it. The ones that seem the most decent ones, you know, are the ones that are hiding like a dark secret. So you guys just be aware, you know, especially if you have children. Um, I think this phone <laughs> has been a blessing to me because, you know, like all the stuff that I've discovered on it, the apps, all the stuff that I could do with it. But just realizing that, you know, I could actually have information that, you know, that the police itself has. I think it's amazing. So, yeah, you guys, if you don't have that, if you have a smartphone and you don't have that app yet, um, please download it because it's it's just like it's amazing. Um, you won't regret it. Uh, it's a little disturbing because you know, like, of course, you get to browse through the images and it gives you the the person's exact address. I mean, it's crazy. Um, I mean, to me, I found it very disturbing having to look through through their pictures. But um, but it's good to know. It's good to be alert. Um, you know, it's. It's crazy. It's crazy just to discover um, how many of them really are out there. Now, um, another thing I wanted to discuss in this video was because a lot of people were like asking me questions. You know how I tell you guys sometimes to send questions in and um, I'll answer them in my videos. So uh, pretty much lately, um, almost everybody that's following me on Facebook, that's friends with me on Facebook, um, has been asking about, you know, 
the drama what exactly is going on there was some confusion because people actually thought that when i wrote that update about um deleting friends deleting junk from my um from my friends list people who, who are not really um friends um i guess it was some some confusion and people actually thought that i um that i meant from the ttc community and no, actually, it had nothing to do with anybody from the TTC community. I think personally, unless I have like a, problems with a certain person from that community, you, you know, I have no reason to delete anyone from the TTC community. You, you ladies have been amazing to me, a wonderful support. And, um, and you know, I, I think is that is good that sisterhood that we have that we're there for each other so as of now no i have not had any problems whatsoever with anyone from the tc community this actually um had to do with um some people that i went to high school um back when <laughs> and um you know it, it was just pretty much some trouble that um, my husband and i were having with uh certain couples um that went to high school with me and um you know Pretty much everything in the, uh, at the beginning of the friendship was, you know, pretty good and everything. And, you know, we opened up our homes to them. Um, you know, they came to parties. Um, you know, we met up. Uh, we have a cabin up in Tennessee. So, um, you know, we met up there and we chilled on, on this occasion or whatever. But um, pretty much it's just been a drama because, um, you know, all of a sudden they went cold on us. And we have no idea why. And um, just one of the husbands from, from you know... From the, those couples uh was really rude to me so my husband found out um you know i had been trying to avoid the drama so i, I never told my husband um i pretty much told some of my closest friends that went uh back uh with me back in high school and you know they know these people so pretty much just you know for like advice and, and comfort and you know because we felt hurt well, I felt hurt because my husband still didn't know anything. So um, I didn't let him know anything because I didn't want any drama. And I I didn't want him to, um, you know, to be upset or whatever. But eventually he found out because I just like, I, I couldn't hold it in anymore. And I had to let it out. And for you guys who are friends with me on on Facebook, you know very well that um, I use my Facebook for whatever I want. That's why it's my Facebook. And that's why it's a free country. And I speak what I want, when I want and what I'm feeling inside. And I use my Facebook for many things but i use it to vent out too and um you know so that's how people find out everything that's going on so <laughs> yeah so i just couldn't take it anymore and i i felt the need to uh, speak out there what i was feeling and um i'm the type of person that if i catch you being a hypocrite i will expose you because i i don't play that game i don't play the hypocrite game i am I personally do not consider myself a hypocrite. Um, you know, I like to be friends with everybody and I like to tell people things straight out to their face. What I think, you know, if I like you, if I have a problem with you, I will not play the high school game. I will go directly to you and, you know, and talk it out like mature human beings. But, um, so yeah, pretty much it was just that, you know, uh, my husband find out, found out that this um, this man was like really rude to me and for no reason whatsoever. Um, to this day, we're still in the dark about what really happened, why there was a fallout. But, um, you know, after I think about it, I think it's good that these people are out of our lives. Um, God has a purpose and a reason for everything that happens. And sometimes he doesn't want certain people in your life for whatever reason. Obviously, these people were no good because um, we were nothing but nice to them. And... Um, you know, like I said, we opened up our homes to them. You know, we were very polite. We tried. We tried to make this friendship uh, work. So, um, but no, I guess that wasn't in God's plans. So, <laughs> yeah, you guys, that's pretty much what happened. Um, so, yeah, this that had nothing. Those uh, statuses had nothing to do with uh, the TTC community. Because I know a lot of ladies were like, you know, oh, I hope you don't delete me. Because, you know, I like following your journey and this and that. And, you know no no you guys don't worry um i don't think i could ever delete any of my tdc ladies like i said unless i have a personal problem with you like one-on-one -on -one, we had like a a fallout or a disagreement or whatever and you know you were very rude to me or for whatever reason that i feel i should delete you then you know then of course but you know not really up to now you know the ttc community has been wonderful um and it's amazing the support that's out there um 
so um yeah you guys that's that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to say um i just wanted to make this video um not only because of that but you know just because of all the drama that's been going on lately and you know like people were wondering and no that was just pretty much it you know it was um it was just some one of those things that just happens and you can't explain why but um like i said um I know that it sounds a little, um, how shall I say, strong or, you know, or rough, but um, it was time to take out the trash. I always say that. And, you know, I wouldn't say for no reason at all. Um, for me to use those strong words, it has to be because the people have actually behaved like trash towards us so that's pretty much what happened um yeah and it was uh the problem was with two couples actually but um i'm just glad they're out of our lives like i said you know we tried our best we did our part um i know for a fact it was not anything we did whatsoever because um we were extremely nice to them and you know I think that the times that they did come to our house, we were very hospitable. Um, so yeah, you guys, there's just no no excuse whatsoever for what they did. Um, some people actually, I guess, you know, they think they're high and mighty and they're better than others. And, you know, if I guess they think that if you're not at the same level that they are, that you're not good enough uh, to hang out with them. So whatever. And I, actually, you know, I, I can't stand people like that. So I rather, even if they were to um you know like be willing to work it out or whatever no way no way after realizing that you know it's that those type of people that have that high and mighty attitude and think they're better than you there's no way in hell that i that i want anything to do with those type of people whatsoever um my circle of friends has to be people who are real people who are like me people who know how to tell it straight out how it is you know no hypocrisy whatsoever honesty because there's no reason why you know at our age we should have to be playing high school games it's it's ridiculous and it's immature um you have something to say say it to my face you know that's how i am you know if i feel something i say it directly to you so you know i don't know you guys what can i say i i'm just stunned um you know i'm not get, giving out many details um obviously i'm not going to mention any names because um this is not anybody's uh business and i'm you know there's no need to mention names only certain people around me that i did mention this this uh little issue to know who i'm talking about who i'm referring to but um you guys who are from the tdc community or you know Whatever others who follow my video will, will have, even if I did mention the names, you guys would have no idea who I'm talking about because, like I said, these are people that I went to high school with back uh, <laughs> centuries ago. <laughs> well, I'm not that old, but <laughs> yeah, you guys. So that was pretty much it. And, um, you know, the funny thing is that after I deleted these people, um, I noticed my numbers went down. So whoever deleted me after that, I had no idea. I really don't care. Even better. Like my husband said, sometimes trash throws itself out. The funny thing is that I bet you anything that these people, <laughs> even though they deleted me from Facebook, I'm sure that they still check out my videos because um, they just, they, they can't help it. They can help but still be part of our lives. They can help but, um, you know, be nosy and find reasons to gossip or whatever so um you know my videos are public to everyone i don't make them private because if i did that people who are out there you know in the ttc community and you know and are trying to find others for support won't be able to find me and you know i have no reason to um to censor anything that i do or say so you know haters are welcome to watch my videos i really don't care um I'm not here for the haters. I'm here for those who are truly, honestly, my friends, those who are supporters and um, and those who are real. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, you guys. Um, let me see what else. Uh, 
Okay, in regards to um to the TTC, I haven't tested yet, but I will on Friday. So, um, no, I haven't left you guys hanging. <laughs> Friday's actually my birthday, so. Oh my God, these cats are like crazy. I, I'm, <laughs> I heard like a noise and it was a freaking cat that it just ate the wall or something. Anyway, yeah, you guys, so Friday is my birthday and um, I will be testing then. <laughs> um, and for now that's it no changes um yesterday i was like really really not feeling good whatsoever i was really tired and um and i was dizzy and i, I don't know you guys um honestly i think that i haven't been eating right and um you know i feel like i feel a little disappointed at myself because even though i've been um uh, back on my walking routine i haven't been doing so good in the diet part <laughs> and I feel like I need to get back on that saddle because um, when I start eating healthy again, I feel amazing. And once I, I start eating junk again, it's like um, everything totally changes. I mean, I, I start feeling like horrible. I don't know. I just can't explain it. So, um, yeah, I, um, I do plan to uh, start doing it very strict again. Um, starting today because um, I do not like the way I was feeling last night whatsoever and I think that's my bo that's my body's way of telling me to eat healthier and to take better care of itself um, also maybe you know it also has to do with all the stress you put on yourself um, you know in this past weekend was um, you know when all that stupid Facebook drama happened and blah 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 and um, I, I don't need that stuff in my life, you know, so I don't need the added stress. So in a way, I'm glad that I got all this out of my system and, you know, I put those people in their place and, you know, I got rid of them for good. I mean, good riddance, you guys. It's a <laughs> brand new year in my life, a brand new chapter, and I'm starting fresh. And like I said, God is taking out the weeds by the root and just throwing it out, you know, whatever is not going to bring me any good in my life whatsoever I see him taking it out and you know that needed to be done and I feel so much better now you know just the fact that you know we're having a, a, a brand new fresh start sorry guys my cat almost <laughs> knocked down the computer um you know I feel much better now I feel um amazing to know that I am in control of who comes in and out of my life of you know Sometimes I can't really say you're in control of who hurts you because you never know who's going to hurt you, you know? People are people, they're human. They were they're always going to fail you. The only one that will never fail you is God. So I can't really say that, you know, oh, I have control of, you know, who hurts me or not. But I do have control of who I associate with. I've always been a very friendly person, but I guess that that has its pros and its cons also because um sometimes you can't be too nice to people you know people tell me that over the years um that i have changed that i've gotten tougher um you have to sometimes you have to sometimes just life throws at you stuff and experiences that makes you turn around and say enough is enough and stand your ground and and be tough when you have to. So, um, so yeah, you guys, you know, I just, I feel that everything that happened happened for a reason and I'm glad it did, even though at first it hurt. But, um, now that I think back on it, you know, maybe God was guarding me from a bigger heartache, you know, in the near future. So, who knows? There's a purpose and a reason for everything that happens, even when we can't understand it. But all I'm saying to you guys is that, you know, whatever journey you're in life, whether it be TTC or whatever it is that you want to accomplish, you know, before you could focus completely and 100% on your journey, you need to get rid of all bad stuff from your life. Anything that's, you know, bad influences, people who are negative, like I like to call them sometimes toxic people. Just get rid of it. You don't need that in your life. You don't need the added stress. You know, we have 
enough problems or, of our own as it is to have to be worrying about, you know, others' bullshit. Excuse my language. <laughs> but um, like I said, I'm just being 100% real and expressing what I feel. And um, and I said it straight out on Saturday when I wrote um, that status on my Facebook. You guys, I said, I know that I may ruffle feathers sometimes and... You know, I'm sorry, that's who I am. If you don't like it, then just delete me. You know, you're not forced to be on my on my friends list. Um, I actually think that some people like stick around because I know they don't, you know, you know that they don't like you or whatever, you know, but they still stick around your friends list to be nosy because they love the gossip because they love to, you know, they just can't get enough of your life, you know? It's like, it's ridiculous, really. But, um... You know, that's who I am, you guys. I am 100% real. I cannot be a hypocrite. So, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if what I say offends some, many, whatever. Um, I'm sorry, but I really don't care. This is America and it's a free country. And we're all, um, we all have that freedom to express what we think and what we feel and what we believe in. You know, we all have that right. So, you know. Nobody has a right to put others down just because they don't think, act, or live like you do. Nobody has that right. So, heck yeah, I'm gonna express myself. You know, if I if I feel if I and I if I feel the need to, of course I am going to. Um, it's my YouTube first of all. It's my Facebook, and that's pretty much it. It's mine. You're free to express what you want on yours. But as long as I'm doing it in, on mine and I'm not going to your page directly and disrespecting you in any way, then I have all the right in the world to express what I want on my Facebook. Like I said, y'all who don't like it, you know where the delete button is at. That's pretty much where I stand in this whole drama thing or, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um... I made a little list and, you know, the list I made pretty much covered, you know, the whole thing about the app with the fine offender thing, um, about the drama and about me, you know, testing. And the funny thing is that those three little topics made a what? Uh, over 20 minutes of video. But yeah, I needed to vent out and I needed to get this out in the open and, and clear the air for any confusion there may be. So yeah, you guys, I have no problem whatsoever with anybody from the TTC community if you know, if that's what people were thinking. No, you guys, this had nothing to do with you. This was just, you know, some people who are not even worth me talking about anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, um, I'll see you in my next video. And, um, and yeah, I'll be testing on Friday. So, I'll let you guys know and I'll keep you posted. Uh, so, for now, bye, you guys, and take care. And keep strong.